Growing up, I almost never heard the words Huntington's disease. My parents had clearly hid from it for my whole life up until then. He was sitting there, he's breathing, but the mind's gone, it's shot. Basically, it was an empty shell, you know, memory. I knew on a gut level that I was gonna get tested. I just can't imagine not knowing. That seems much scarier to me than the potential of living with AS. I felt that the responsible thing to do was to not have a kid who was at risk. I said, do not let this disease ever stop you from having children. I want you to have a family. God, you could take all the life out of you. I say, think about it a little harder before you really need to know. Get tested and be part of the solution, because otherwise you're not contributing. Knowing the result helped give us time to plan. They're just going to ask you if you want your results, and if you do, they're going to give them to you, and that's it. It's one of these very surreal, time standstill kind of moments. Every time you trip, every time you drop your keys, every time you forget a word, you think this is it. 50% of the kids or more have had Huntington's. So far, the firstborn has always got it. I guess I uh, ignore the fact that I'm sick. Maybe that's a good thing. The idea that I could kind of contribute to something that I really believe is getting somewhere is too huge. We make light of it. It's kind of what we do. If somebody forgets something or can't find where their pops had, hey, you, you know, you got it, and it's a big joke. We laugh about it. You can never turn back the clock. You're never gonna not know your status again. Knowing is your choice. But knowing puts you at risk for genetic discrimination. Imagine being declined for insurance or a promotion because of your genetic information. Insurance companies and employers can and do use our DNA to discriminate against us. Canada is the only G8 country that does not protect its citizens from genetic discrimination. The Huntington Society of Canada is actively working to end this type of discrimination in Canada. Everyone has genetic mutations that may or may not lead to diseases like diabetes, heart disease, multiple sclerosis, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, and many others. The choice to be tested is personal, and fear of discrimination should not be a barrier. All Canadians are at risk for genetic discrimination. Genetic discrimination happens when we are treated unfairly because of our genetic information. Each of us have genetic mutations that may or may not lead to a future disability. Genetic information is complicated and should not be used against us. The Huntington Society of Canada leads the Canadian Coalition for Genetic Fairness to end genetic discrimination in Canada. We need a louder voice in order to educate all Canadians on the importance of protecting our DNA information to ensure it's used for our benefit and not against us. Donate now at 1-800-998-7398 or www.huntingtonsociety.ca.